Well, I needed a cart for my mower and I knew Harbor Freight sold one. So I went and bought it. This is how it comes boxed. And here's what it looks like upon first opening. We are greeted with the two wheels and a bunch of red metal behind it. Taking these wheels out and lifting off some of the styrofoam, we can see the actual cart metal, which looks really good. Now looking at the box here, you can see this says heavy duty trailer cart. So I guess we're gonna see just how heavy duty this is. Ah, there's the directions. I found the assembly instructions where step one says before starting, gather all the bolts and organize them into three piles. Well, it looks like we're gonna have a lot of bolts. Just trying to organize some of this stuff. I'm gonna place all these kind of longer metal pieces in a different box. This too. Well, I've now got everything spread out. I just kind of wanted to visualize what I'm working with here. And a few things that I've noticed, which was number one, all the bolts are inside of this rail right here. So that's good. But as far as damage in the box, it seems like there is quite a bit. You can see these panels here are bent. You can clearly see that. With this panel here, we have a pretty decent ding right there, maybe even some rust. Then coming over here to these panels, you can see this one seems like it's been beat up pretty bad. And there's the other side of it. And then we come over to this panel here, which I already kind of bent back into place, but this one seems like it was the worst one. It had a pretty big dent there. This whole panel was really kinked. I should have shown that on camera before I bent it back into place. But to be honest, I barely pressed on this because this metal is so thin it was able to bend back in place pretty easily. And further up from that, you can see right here about the middle, there's another kink. Something must have hit it really hard here because there's paint missing. And it's like the whole panel is kinked inward. And from there on the other side, you can see there's more dings and dents and bruises and stuff like that. Now I say this not so much to complain, but just to show you kind of the state of how things come out of the box. I'm okay with this. While I of course wish that a product out of the box looked like brand new, this is a cart that's going to have many scratches, dings and bruises. And as long as this thing goes together okay, I think I'm okay with it. And here's the bag of hardware with the bolts, nuts, washers, little lock washers, more bolts bigger washers. So it looks like this is everything I need and they're all ready separated. And here's what we're looking like with the first step, which is to assemble the two bottom panels together. And then they have this piece called the front cross brace, which you can see right here that kind of wraps underneath and kind of ties everything together. So this is three pieces, one, two, and three. It's very bolt heavy, meaning this whole thing is just going to be a whole bunch of bolts. I'm probably a third of the way through and you can see these things right here are the axle supports. And I have this hitch mount here that I'm gonna slide into place. There we go. Everything is finger tight at this point so I can move everything around to line up bolt holes. All right, we have the axle installed and the wheels attached. The axle is a long solid piece of steel that runs through this channel and comes all the way out far enough so that we can have a couple washers and a cotter pin here. And so you can see the triangulation of these two pieces that basically hold this axle in place. And then these two pieces are secured top and bottom, basically eight sets of bolts. And here's the completed cart. Overall, it does look very good with that red paint and all those chrome bolts don't look too bad either. Though I really wish this was designed better so they didn't need so many bolts, nuts, washers, lock washers. This thing took a very long time to put together just because there were so many pieces with all of these bolts, because you're not just seeing the bolt head there, you're seeing the bolt head, you're seeing a flat washer, you're seeing a lock washer and a nut all together in each one of these bolts you see on this thing, and there was a lot. So my first impression is good. I think for the money, this seems like it's going to be a pretty decent cart. I certainly don't know where they get the idea that this is heavy duty, it does not look heavy duty whatsoever. It does not feel heavy duty whatsoever. I would say more so light duty to standard duty. I mean, if you start loading a bunch of weight in here, though it does say it'll handle 600 pounds, I can't imagine this stuff holding up too long. I mean, it is metal after all, but it is very thin metal, especially the bottom there. The sides are thin as well. I think they're the same as the bottom, but you can see in some of this light, just all the dents and stuff just from shipping this thing 
let alone actually using it. As for tools, I used a standard 14 millimeter wrench. I used a ratchet with the 14 millimeter socket. I used a flathead screwdriver and just this to open the box. This is all the hardware that's left over. Now I didn't miss anything. Everything is used per the directions. This is just what they include on top of what's required. I really don't know why there's so much extra, but hey, I'll take it. The instructions were okay, pretty easy to follow. One other thing I'd like to note are these round bolts and we're using basically a flathead screwdriver to tighten them down. And I thought at first that was the weirdest thing ever because you're just not gonna be able to get that much torque with a flathead screwdriver before it you know, strips out or skips out. But honestly, I think that's the purpose. I think this metal and just this setup is so thin, they don't want a hex head on there, so you got a wrench on one side, a ratchet on the other, and you're cranking on these real hard. These aren't super heavy duty nuts and bolts. So I think the purpose of the flathead is to not be able to get that much torque on these, surprisingly. The tailgate simply just slides in place. It lifts up, let's see if I can do it with one hand here, and slides right into its track. Pretty simple, I like that. I'm already putting this thing to use. This is exactly why I wanted it because I wanna be able to take a bunch of tools and things like that way to the back of my land. And this thing does look good, it matches my mower. Though I will say it is tilted back a little bit. I do wish it was more level, not really sure why it's like that. You know, it's not the biggest deal in the world. Uh, for my purposes, this is gonna be just fine. I just needed a way to be able to get a bunch of stuff back far in my land without having to carry it all and make a whole bunch of trips. I might even take my generator a little later, just load that thing up into there, be real easy, take it to the back, and then I'll have power for power tools and things like that. All right, first pull on the mower and everything went good, I think. Quite a bit of stuff back here. That bag of food I think weighs about 50 pounds. You know, this is, I don't know, 20 pounds. Got all my tools. Going up that hill, it did it perfectly fine. Didn't even feel like it was there. So that's good. Well, we're at the end of the day now. Did a lot of work today and used this a lot. So you can see right now I got two five gallon buckets in here full of water for the chickens. And the project for today was to, and I can see they're already using it, was to create a hallway between these two coops. Turned out really, really good. So I ended up using the trailer for my generator, a bunch of tools, a bunch of chicken feed, wood chips, all kinds of stuff. And just from the work today, this thing has already proven itself worth the $129 I paid for it. May not be heavy duty, but that's okay. It just uh, fulfilled for me in one day its value. So that's awesome. I definitely would recommend it for the money, uh, of course, if you need something heavy duty, I probably would steer away from this. But for the money, I think it's I think it's worth it. You're gonna have to have some patience putting this thing together. But overall, you know, it it works.